wasn't originally planning on making a video today, but I think maybe I should. Uh, this is about the third cluster within about a week that has come to me with the odometer zero problem. Now it's not odometer error, it's odometer zero. And every time I've seen the zero problem, it has been a previously repaired cluster. I haven't seen this really happen naturally out in the wild by a cluster that hasn't been messed with. So that leads me to believe we're looking at an electrostatic just discharge issue. I think the people that are doing this at home and handling the boards themselves are not careful with electrostatic discharge. Uh, you should maybe be wearing a wrist strap if you're not going to be careful. Um, I'm in the habit of every time I get up and out of my chair, I touch the ground lug here on my power supply, which is grounded uh, to the entire electrical house ground. Um, also, I don't have a cloth chair. I don't have carpeted floors. But uh, I think what's happening is people are handling the board. They're uh, damaging the microprocessor because when you run into odometer error, that's the EEPROM that has issues. But when you run into odometer zero, it is the microprocessor that has issues. And I'm got to be pretty sure that uh, it's static sensitive. I should probably put an anti-static uh, wristband on the cat too, but uh, so far he hasn't zapped any boards. Um, so I guess if you're going to be doing this uh, you know, at home or out in your garage or wherever it is, uh, keep into consideration uh, the static sensitive microprocessor. And here we have a board where the customer replaces stepper motors and and yeah as I guess as usual we got some pulled pads now this board this board I have here in front of me now it's possible that this solder goober that the uh, the owner that installed the the LEDs and upgraded the stepper motors it's it's possible that this goober that was dropped on the board could be uh, causing this zero error so I'm going to be removing that and see if uh, that fixes his problem. Well, let's power it up and see what the odometer says. Okay, so we're reading mileage now. Let me do a few reboots and see if it continues to behave. So far, so good. Alright, I'm going to leave it unpowered for a couple of minutes to kind of do a more of a hard reset, but while we're doing that, let's take a look at the uh, stepper motor solder joints. And here I see the typical uh, do-it-yourself um, solder globs and jumpers from pulled ripped pads. All right, come on, people, stop pulling pads, really. I mean, it's not that hard. You just get out your solder sucker, which is all of $10, and you make sure you move the solder before you grab a hold of the stepper motor and rip it out with all of your might. Ah, you know, I guess, I guess yeah, yeah, I've seen too many of this, I guess. All right. So far, so good. All right, I guess I can't blame this one on uh, ESD damage. After removing that goober, it's been rock solid. I went through and cleaned up solder joints, made some proper fillets. So if Mike is watching, he should be happy. <laughs> uh, the goober was between the EEPROM and the microprocessor, so it makes logical sense that that would cause issues with the microprocessor talking to the EEPROM. But just to make sure the odometer is behaving, I have been racking up a couple miles on this. It was at uh, 15, now we're at uh, 17. I'm just Going to uh, add some miles, power it down, power it back, make sure it's stored. Okay, so now that I've increased the miles, power it down, make sure it comes back showing the 18. Okay, looks good. Looks like we have a functioning odometer again. So when I started doing this uh, YouTube cluster thing, I thought to myself, well, I can't stop people from trying to fix their own clusters, but uh, maybe I can give some do's and don'ts that will hopefully help somebody. So like today we learned uh, static sensitive micro microprocessors, although this wasn't one of them, but still 
uh, be cautious with electrostatic discharge. Uh, try not to pull pads and be careful with dropping uh, solder goobers on your board. And David, don't feel bad, it, it happens. It's not the first time, it's not the last time. It just all comes with the territory. But uh, well, I think that wraps up this one. Thanks for watching.